Headwaters School of Music and Arts has started a new program designed for teens to learn what it means to play in a band full of different instruments. For this week's In Focus, Betsy Moline has more. One of the most exciting parts of learning an instrument is figuring out how you can sound alongside other musicians. The Headwaters School of Music and Arts has a program to show teens how to become a part of a band. A chance to have that experience of what is it like to actually be in a band and to form those dynamics with, with, other, with others that love to make music, but especially now there hasn't been a lot of chance for this sort of making music together. The idea of creating a band program is not new to Headwaters, so it was not hard to find staff who were eager to get involved. Uh, an idea we've been brainstorming about for a long time here at Headwaters Music and Arts. A number of our instructors have been interested and plan on being a part of it. They're hoping this program can take those who already know how to play and help them develop the new skill of playing with a group by exploring aspects of song structure, dynamics and phrasings, but also band organization and social dynamics. It is geared towards uh, teens ages 13 to 18 who have had some playing experience. Um, so we, right now we have um, kind of the basics of a uh, guitar, drum, keyboard players, um, but really it could be any instrument. The program is designed for teens who already have some experience playing, but there are some instruments available at the school for those who might need it so they can get started jamming. This is the first time that the program has been run by the Headwaters School, meaning that including COVID protocols was an important aspect of planning. Here at Headwaters, we have protocols in place for screening when you enter the building, temperature taking, staying home if you're sick, um, maintaining social distancing, maintaining mask wearing. This is a program that will build skills, but also hopefully relationships. To see that as a, just a good experience all around for, for the skill building the, and, and just playing the, the fun of it. Reporting in Bemidji for this week's In Focus, Betsy Moline, Lakeland News. The program is weekly and started Thursday, April 1st. It will last for eight weeks total. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.